My name is Emily Easton and I'm here to share with you about a mission trip I do every summer for one week. It's called Salkahatchee. I have a bed to sleep in and a roof over my head and those are just such simple things and I feel like everybody should have those. And that's what I used to think, but I was sadly mistaken once I did this particular camp. Not only could I relate to this insight shared by a Salkahatchee participant, and they said, before I came to Salkahatchee, I thought poverty was just an abstract idea, but now poverty has names and it has faces, and each face has a story. Salkahatchee has an impact on anyone and everyone involved. Not only does this week of service impact those who are working on the house, but the people living in it actually open their homes up for you to come fix it, and they've never seen you before, they don't know you, they've never, they just, they don't, tr they, and they have that trust for you that quick. And it's not only for repairing homes, but it's so much more. It changes your life. Before I go into detail about Salkahatchee, I actually want to tell you about there's one right here in Douglas, Georgia. And it, the people, we stay at the dorms at South Georgia, the old dorms. And on our free time, we go to First United Methodist Church where we spend, we have chapel and have our worship group. And then we go and we're working on the houses all day long. You pay $200 for you to come work on a house that you've never even seen before. And I just really feel like it was important because to tell you about this particular camp because there's two particular houses that it just, it amazed me. One of the houses I did when I was in ninth grade. And it wasn't even two miles down the road from my house. And I realized that I never even noticed it before. The, rotting, the sides were completely rotted. The window panes were completely rotted. The, the windows looked like they were about to just fall off. The bathroom, you couldn't even use it. The, the bathtub had cracks in it. They couldn't use the bathtub or anything. And their kitchen, you could they couldn't use their kitchen. They had a microwave, and that was it. Um, this house, there was two little boys in this house, and they were in elementary school. And they wouldn't even have anything to do with this. And it... I found out later on, by the end of the week, they were outside painting with us and playing around, and they were really opened up to us, and they actually found out people cared for them, because when at school, nobody has anything to do with them, because they smelled funny, and they wore weird clothes, because they couldn't afford anything else, and they're in elementary school and already haven't deal with stuff like that. The second house I did, it was actually one of my friend's houses and I didn't even know that until I got there and that she lived in a house like that where her floor was rotted where they had couldn't walk in their kitchen and there was so many things wrong with that house and it was they never she it used to not be like that but the grandfather got very sick and the grandmother had to take over and get a full-time job and then the the husband or the girl's dad was the one who worked on the house for them and on his way to see them one day and actually work on the house he was killed in an accident and her little sister was too so it was really hard for them to have us come work on their house because nobody done that before but their child their son and her father and it just amazed me to see how much they were willing to have us come and work on it and them helping and I just realized you aren't born into poverty sometimes. It just happens. It's a life-changing, and Salkahatchee is a life-changing experience that people will do more for you than you might even do helping them. I just, I felt like this was so important to talk about because so many people take what they have for granted. And it's like that quote I said earlier, each face has a story, and that's so true. Her house, her dad was killed, and he couldn't work on it anymore. And the two little boys, their mom was handicapped, and their dad, he he had struggles too. And those kids picked on them because they were different. Maybe one day you will be blessed like this to have help, to be able to help out an amazing family and hear so many outstanding stories. I just, I really felt like this was a touching, this always touched me, and I felt like this was one of, an important story to talk about.